Welcome back. We're currently on Maria's route, Arusu's route, although I think there is actually a proper distinction between the two at this point, isn't there? We really should be saying we're on Maria's route. Hopefully I have named the previous parts that if I have actually named them anything like that. I don't know how I'm going to distinctly name them at this point because I'm still doing my big recording session on the previous weekend to what? This should be Friday? Should be Friday from your point of view, I think? I don't know. But anyway, we've headed off to the park. It's the second day. I don't know why Maria wanted us to come here, but we're here, so she don't. So, what are you going to do? As Maria said this, she pointed towards a bench set up within the park. A break? That's all? So that's what you wanted. Well, it's a lovely view after all. Maria trotted excitedly towards the bench and slowly sat herself down. It is. As Maria sat beneath the soft sunlight peeking through the trees, she was enveloped in a sort of bright, ethereal aura. Although she was just sitting on a bench in a nondescript park, it had a certain beauty to it, almost like a painting. Yeah, I'll be here watching you, Maria. Now I think about it, I felt surprised that I wanted to sit beside her. I've never been taken by such a simple feeling like that. No, baby, I can relate. There was a time when everything felt new to me, when life was full of surprises. Anyone can relate. Watching the ever frank and straightforward Maria, I start feeling somewhat nostalgic. I want to show her more. Maria, we'll see it all. No, we should get going, Maria. If we stay for too long, we might be late. Maria stood up from the bench and walked over to me. Hey, Maria? Let's experience more things together. Looks like we made it just in time. Danger? I mean, the civic guidance teacher is kind of scary, but not dangerous. Oh, I get it now. I'm glad it didn't end up like that. Actually, would you even call this a date? Yeah, you're right. This is a proper date. If you put it like that, it's a little embarrassing. Wait, I see people over there. Shido! Uh oh. Toka and everyone else. これは意外な場所での開校だな。学校の当番で早く家を出たと聞いていたが、経験どうしてアルスと一緒に歩いているのですか？We even left from our house early and everything, and we still run into them at the gates. Um, this is. シードくん行けないな。さてはみんなに内緒でアルスちゃんとお出かけ。Sharp as always with this kind of stuff, Yushinon. Kurumi, as usual, perfect timing on your end. Miku too. You too, Arakami. If you had asked for an explanation, well, you know. He is in so much trouble. He shouldn't be. But he will be. We snuck out because we were scared of this sort of situation. Hmm. 
Yeah, all right then. Like judgmental looks. Uh, hey, Kotri. You're not going to help me? I'm being completely honest. I'm just doing whatever might get us out of this world, okay? ランチは私と一緒するんです。それで許してあげます。何？いや、昼毛は私と食べるのだ、シド。待て。この山一枚が立たぬわけにはいかん。約束。他の者の還元に惑わされてはなりません。譲るたちと三人で昼食を取りまし
Please, no more. How much food are you guys trying to feed me? That's enough, I'm full, I'll stop here. No, I appreciate it, but I just need some rest. Well, yes, of course, some tea. Well, go, phew, that calmed me down a bit. Thanks, Maria. Exactly what we needed. Well, maybe you should have offered him some tea. そもそもアルスは なんだこの余裕は驚愕ポイントの稼ぎ方を心得ています。なんだかすごく距離が近い感じです。はい、それは間違いありません。私は今朝も一緒に投稿したのもそうですが、朝目覚めた時も一緒でしたので。Oh no. <laughs> perfect sound perfect sound effect at the right time. Uh, sure you could say that, but it was nothing serious. Oh crap. It's not true, Shino, uh, don't worry. Shido. I didn't. It's not anything like that. Nothing happened. Indeed. <laughs> Maria, all of this is because you had to say something unnecessary. Kotri, help me. ごちそうさまでしたと。じゃ、お兄ちゃん、あまりやってると遅刻しちゃうよ。私先に教室帰るからね。Thanks. What? Putri? Damn it! It's come to this. I run away too. Jeez, it's been nothing but trouble lately. あ、松野だ、シド。待って、シド。それと。布団に潜り込んでいい日は枕を縦にしておいて。What? See that I agree with because they will find you. That afternoon, in between classes, no, even during classes, I explained the situation to each girl, hoping to improve their moods. But it took my entire day right up to when school ended. Maria, are you there? 
Hi, Imas. Thank goodness you came after all. So, in this day, I'm not going to be a good person. I could be chaotic if we were seen together again. So, I'm not going to be a good person. So, I'm not going to be a good person. So, I'm not going to be a good person. Yeah, but you don't have a cell phone or anything, right, Maria? Something were to happen, it might be hard to reach you. Well, that's how it is, so let's head out the back gate. Yep, that's right. Let's have a date. I'm worried about the other spirits, and for now I prioritize Maria. I do want clues on how to escape this world, too. Moreover, I want to show Maria even more things. So today, I thought we could head near the train station and look at all of the shops. What do you say? Yes. The shopping district again? I see, then let's go. I mean, we've been here before, so. Right, see anything that catches your eye? I think that's a coaster. You rest your cups on top of them. I hadn't thought about getting a metal coaster. Sure, but those aren't too common. Let me see, this is a Menko. Kind of a strange thing to be selling still. Who still uses Menkos? What's a Menko? Someone let me know! Menko... Yes, it was used as a coaster, but it was not used as a coaster. But that's not what it's made for. Strangely. No, I don't think so. It's like you said, Maria. It's the thickness of the Menko's paper that makes it similar to a coaster. Again, I really need to know what one of these is. It is. Japanese people seem to value the quality, too. In fact, Maria, if there's something you want to get, just tell me. I'll buy it for you. You don't have to hold back, you know. I guess that's true. Then if you find anything, tell me, okay? Cool. Next time we come here, let's invite the others to come with us. It's fun to browse when everyone's pointing things out, you know? Besides, I gotta make it up to them somehow since it's my fault. Right, and let's do that. It's a promise. No, I didn't have anything in mind. I just figured girls like looking around in stores like this. I see. That's good then. As I thought, Maria spent time looking through every nook and cranny of the shop. I'll leave her be. You can't ask the question and then assume the answer. That's not how that works. Uh, <laughs> Uh, sorry, we're just looking around to get an idea. Leave us alone. Apparently, that person thought we were siblings. Yeah, I guess so, even though we look nothing alike. Oh, that store clerk is an NPC, so it might be an automated response or something. Are you gonna change her? Okay. Maybe it's my imagination, but ever since we left the store, Maria's been quiet. It's a little awkward. 
Maria, where to next? Hmm? All of a sudden, Maria stopped and looked upwards. Her eye was caught on a giant poster for a movie that was playing. On the poster, there was a man and a woman smiling, locked in embrace. Is it a romance? This is perfect. Maria, let's go to that movie theater. In a theater, awkward silences can be smoothed over. When it's over, I bet her mood will be better. Yeah, seems like a short movie. Shouldn't take more than an hour. It won't be that late. I was tricked. There were some romantic scenes, but it was a horror movie. What the hell was up with that poster? Sorry, Miri, are you okay? Yeah, it took me for a ride too. Alright then, let's go. What's wrong? I'm gonna walk with locked arms. Alright, here. Grab on. Maria timidly wraps her arm around mine, and we begin to walk. Sorry, I didn't expect it to be that kind of movie. Did you, um, have a bad time at all? Or was it a lovely time? I, I need to know the details here. No, Then why... Uh, it's obvious that was going to be affecting her, wouldn't it? Yes, yes. Huh? What could it be? Maria, was your reason for looking at the movie poster not because you wanted to see the film, but instead... It's true, they had a romantic side plot in the story. Which means the reason Maria wanted to link arms wasn't because she was scared. I'm still very confused by the background in this place, just the perspective of everything. Like the entrance to, to the movie theater, like the, the, the entrance is, like the box thingies are huge. And you got the railing sort of like rope area in front of the seats. It's like the vanishing point is so different to the chairs. It just, it, it's really odd. It's like they're not vanishing into the same location. It's just, it's very, very, very odd. Well, <laughs> I wonder. Siblings who walk with linked arms aren't exactly uncommon, I suppose. Where do you want to go next? That's a little... Sorry, but I don't have that kind of cash in my wallet. Uh, Maria, are you kidding me? Oh, that's okay, but I'm surprised to see you attempt to joke, Maria. Yeah, it was unexpected. So, where do you really want to go? Back to the park? Relax? That isn't some euphemism, right? Uh, sorry, uh, forget about it. It's fine. Wait, let's strop, st strop, yep, let's strop, hmm. Wait, let's try stopping by the park before going home. We can relax there. If we can go now, we'll make it in time for sunset. That'll be lovely at sunset. Now then, let's go home, Maria. What? Well, we just got here. Yeah, I had fun too. To be honest, I'm kind of exhausted. While taking a stretch, I gazed out at the sunset. So much has happened over the course of the day. What a beautiful sunset. Yes, 
The sky seems to go on forever. I'm trapped in this world, aren't I? It doesn't feel that way at all. This is gonna be a case of like, they're gonna fall in love with each other, like properly, 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 properly falling in love with each other, but it's like, he's gonna have to return to the real world and leave her here. Probably similar to how it was in um, Rin Utopia. Where it's like, yay, we can go home, but uh, Rin's not there anymore. Oh, that kind of thing. Yeah, I do. I can't stay like this forever, after all. The real world, huh? It's fine if things go back to normal, but then... What would happen to Maria? Will she end up alone in this world? If that's the case, I wonder what I should do to save Maria. Shido. Hmm? Ah, you're right. No, if everything within the game is fixed, then we should be able to log in at any time. If that works, then we can still visit Maria. Alright. Let's go home. To our house. Maria answered, and for a moment I thought I saw a hint of loneliness in her eyes. You talk about, pa -pa -pa -pa, talk about a packed day. I let out a sigh as I rolled into my bed, letting the exhaustion get the better of me. Maria, she's starting to express a whole range of emotions. At times she's impressed, over times she pouts like a child. I also caught her laughing modestly or telling jokes. She seems to grow day by day, showing more and more faces. She's a mysterious girl. Even so, I'm sure I can rest easy now. I'm gonna fall asleep. I look forward to whatever tomorrow holds. Hmm? What is that noise? The window? Someone outside? Make no mistake, someone's throwing pebbles or something at my window. Who on earth is it? Ah! When I opened the window, Maria was there. Wait, that can't be right. She looked up at me, and beckoned me towards me with a daring smile. It's the girl who resembles Maria. The Black Clove de Rusu. Why are you here? It's so late. Black Clove de Rusu remained silent, continuing to beckon me. I understand. I'll come down there. I spun around and left my bedroom. I made sure to sneak out carefully as to not alert the others. Usually doesn't work, mate. What do you want from me? Beautiful <laughs> What are you suggesting? We'll catch a cold being out this late, you know? I mean, you have a point. What is it, black outfit? Kinda racist. Fine then, what is it, Rusu? What are you saying? Of course. Didn't I make a promise? What's wrong? Uh, hey! Saying her piece, Arusu ran off. Wait, who exactly are you? Thinking how late it was, I raised my voice and chased after her. A mischievous laughter echoed in the darkness. Eventually I lost sight of her when she turned the corner. In pursuit I turned the same corner. In front of me I saw another intersection. Which way did she go? Looking in each direction I blindly ran towards the right. However... I lost her. She's surprisingly speedy. Laid out before me was an endless sprawl of asphalt. Lit under dim streetlights stretching into the darkness. It's no use. I'll head home. With nothing to show for it, I return home. Running out there gave me a burst of adrenaline, from which I had begun to come down. Huh. When I made it back to my house, I saw Maria looking up at the night sky. Why would she come out of all of a sudden? Maria, weren't you asleep? Nandaka. Cold? By what? I 
I see, then let's head back inside. It'd be no good if you caught a cold. Wait, she can't catch a cold, right? Does that only apply to the one in black? Good idea. You're right, I'm tired. Don't sneak into my bed tomorrow, okay? Are you serious? What am I, Adam? Ducky Makura? Yep. Please give me a break. Letting out a sigh, I follow Maria into the house and up the stairs. But if tomorrow is like today, I'm going to be terrified or I'll have a terrible day. I need to make the most out of what comes. The third day, and obviously we're going to be ending this part here. Why is it the shop? Don't know. Ah, good. It's us. Right, so we'll see you in the next part with the third day. So, ta-da! For now!